We are back on the party pontoon and we have a name for the boat now. It's called the mullet, which I think works out pretty well. I know another YouTuber out there who also names a lot of stuff the mullet, so kind of stealing that, but then again, I really didn't think of it when I was coming up with the name. And we're calling it the mullet because it's business in the front, nice and luxurious, everyone sits up here. And in the back, it's a full-on party. We got the bar, got the bar seating, and it looks like a bar. That's the vibe I'm going for. I want it to look like a rustic bar. Uh, not everyone liked that idea, but I love this idea. And this is my boat, so I'm gonna do it. Last episode, we got the whole design layout and the base built and the top built. Uh, I had a problem with the top. There was a lot of like epoxy bubbles in it. Not really sure what happened. I had quite a few comments, people thinking it was the wood. It still had some air pockets in it and that's what was coming up through the epoxy. Maybe I should have done one little thin layer first and then went over it with a thicker layer. Probably what I'll do next time if I ever do this again. But I am trying to fix it right now and it's in there trying to be fixed. So hopefully it looks a little bit better and works out good. <laughs> now the original idea over here was to have a kitchen area with a sink and a grill. And then I got to thinking about it. I don't really want to grill over here because people are going to climb up it. And also, what do I need a sink for? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a lake. I don't really need a sink. Uh, I think I just like the idea of it better than the actual having it. So we're going to switch things up and we're going to have its own little bar mixing station right here. Had the idea of putting a keg on the boat right here. Moving this over somewhere right here. Putting a keg on it. Uh, for some beer on the boat. I love that idea. A lot of other people like the idea. There was a couple concerns which I am also questioning now that you guys brought it up. A lot of people commented saying the keg on the boat will get shaken up and it'll be really foamy. Uh, I've never worked with a keg before. That kind of makes sense to me, I guess. But this isn't going to be an everyday on the boat kind of thing. This is going to be special occasions only where we're going to be out in the lake kind of all day just sitting. And a lot of people are also concerned about keeping it cold, which also makes sense. You want cold beer, right? Uh, they make keg coolers, which is like a soft cooler that goes around the keg and you fill it with ice. I think that will work for like this one day thing. It's not going to be, like I said, this isn't going to be like an everyday thing where it's going to be sitting here all the time. It's just going to be for special occasions. So hopefully that answers some of your questions and concerns. Uh, happy you guys are concerned about it, but I think it's going to work out. And if it doesn't work out, we'll come up with another plan. So right now I want to go ahead and start working on this barrel. I want to cut it in half, try to create some more room because there's not a whole lot of walking room right here. So we'll cut it in half, maybe a little bit more than half, and then we'll butt it up right against the fence so there's a lot more room and it looks a little bit better up here. More locking room and more storage room. So that's what we're gonna work on right now and then we'll start moving on to the bar area again, trying to get that figured out.
Okay, this looks pretty awesome. I'm really excited to throw it up on the boat. Got the tap all mounted, it looks pretty cool. Also made sure the door was big enough to fit the keg along with the CO2 canister and everything else it needs. Still learning about what all it needs to get running, but I'll figure all that out when I actually use it. It's not gonna be used very often, but just, but just for special occasions and stuff like that. So it should all fit in there, but we'll see. Cutting in half was pretty easy. The hardest part was I had to weld all these straps back on there, cut them to size, make sure it all looks okay. I wanted the back to still look like a barrel. I'm thinking I should have stained the inside, but it kind of lightens it up in there and doesn't make it so dark. So probably just leave it like that. Got it all stained and varnished. All looks good. I think it looks awesome. It's gonna look really good up there. Also, while I was working on that, I fixed the bar top. Looks a lot better now. Added another coat on there. Still a tiny bit of bubbles in like a two spots, but not near as bad as it was before. It was pretty bad before, so this looks a lot better. Now let's talk about what's up next because this is what I'm very excited about. This is gonna be super cool to have on the boat. I got a sidebar beverage system from kegworks.com. So basically I can have any kind of five different liquids underneath and have it be able to suck out through the system and into your cup at the top. So this right here is a siphon system. So these tubes are gonna be going down to your bottles of liquor or any kind of liquid you want. And the other side is gonna go out to the faucet. The faucet works just like this. So you're gonna mount it up here. The faucet's gonna go right through this hole. As you can see, you can have different options for what you want. You can put whiskey, vodka, you can switch out these things for different things. So I can switch it out for anything. I can put a mixer in there. I can put some wine in there if I wanted to. You can change up all these options to have different kinds of liquid or liquor or anything you really want coming out of that dispenser. Here's the faucet that goes right there. Come up right here. Just gotta drill a hole in whatever you want to install it in and it works just like that. What makes this very easy for your boat is it can hook up to a 12 volt system or it can hook directly up to your house if you have like a bar inside your house. Plug it right in or your 12 volt system right on your boat. Works perfectly. All this is marine grade quality so it's not gonna be rusting on me or anything which is very good. So this I can just have my rum hooked up to it along with a coke bottle or something and just make a rum and coke very easily. I'm excited to really try this thing out. I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna mount it up right around here and the faucet's gonna come out right here, right next to your beer. So you can have a beer, a vodka soda, a rum and coke. So you can have it pretty much all set up to work right from this drink station. Uh, I'm gonna read up on the instructions, make sure I'm doing everything right. I know I have to prime all this beforehand and I don't think I'm gonna hook up the liquor or anything right now because it's not in the boat or anything. There's not a whole lot to this system, which is nice, so it's not gonna take up a whole lot of room underneath wherever you install it. Also comes with different options. I have the all black base, but it comes with like a chrome or a brass, a white, basically whatever you want it to match. And I think it's gonna look really good. I got the all black one, so it's gonna look really good. All right, let's read up these instructions and see what it can do. Try to get it hooked up. I wanna make a drink right now. <laughs>
I'm just loving this so much. It looks so good back here. It looks like a bar, like an old school bar. Everyone can sit around. Go get your drinks over here. Uh, maybe a cooler right here. I gotta clean up the floor. That's where the old barrel was sitting. I just like how much room there is back here. I can throw some coolers right here. There's some coolers up there. People can put their stuff everywhere. That was a big problem on my last party boat. I didn't have enough room for coolers or people's stuff. There was just way too much stuff on the boat, so not enough stuff to bring on. So you couldn't have backpacks or coolers or anything like that. But this, plenty of room for coolers, backpacks. Got storage underneath here. It all works out pretty good. Now for the Keg Works beverage system, this thing was awesome. Super easy to hook up. Doesn't take up any room. Like, look how much room is down there. Enough room for about five bottles right here. And we can store the keg in the CO2 container over here. Hopefully that's enough room. If not, you're gonna have to pick or choose what you're gonna do for that trip. Maybe even put bottles up top here somewhere. Might be able to do that. But this works out really good. I think I wanna get a drain system maybe right here. Uh, set your drink on, that way if you spill any, it's just gonna go there, maybe wash off the back. Uh, not sure yet. Keg Works link is in my description. You can use this for your boat. You can use it for inside. So many different applications to use it for and it was very easy to hook up. I think this is really awesome. Now by the time you buy this keg stand, the CO2, the keg itself, uh, it's gonna be about the same price as this. And this you can hook up any kind of liquid to it and save plenty of room down there. So honestly, I would just go with this and scratch the whole beer tap thing. But I like having the option for both of them. I think that's kind of cool. Now that we got the layout all figured out, we can go ahead and start bolting some of this down and also install our seats. Now for the seats around the bar, we're gonna go with Deckmate's Lean Back Bass Boat Seats. Now you can get these on BassBoatSeats.com. It's the same material as used on pontoon stuff seats. This is all Deckmate's seats and pontoon stuff. You can get their pontoon seats there. And then for the Bass Boat Seats, you can get them at BassBoatSeats.com. This is the same material, same color as right there with the black inset. This is gonna match really well with the boat. It matches the captain seats the best. So it all works out great for back here. Now for the actual pedestals themselves, I had it on my last boat where I could move them around. That was good for, because I didn't have a whole lot of room on that boat. So it was nice to be able to get rid of some seats if I wanted to. This, since I have plenty of room, I'm gonna make them all stationary. Five seats around it. I gotta make sure it's enough room for your legs to sit, but also close enough to the bar that you're not super far away, obviously. So I'm gonna do a little bit of measuring and then make sure I don't hit any of the cross beams underneath the wood. Drill some holes, bolt all that down, and hopefully it all works out good. I have plenty of room. So that's what we're gonna do next and last thing we're gonna do back here before it's done.
Well, there's no going back now. This is how it's gonna stay and no changing it. But I actually really love this look and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this look a lot? I think it looks really cool. Definitely a party back here and business in the front. Keep saying that, but trying to get the name to stick because I'm not renaming it either. Bar top looks good. All the seats look good around it. Cup holders are temporary. I have new cup holders for that coming in. As for the bases, I don't have them bolted in yet because I went to my local hardware store and they didn't have the bolts I needed. So I just ordered them online. They'll be here in like a week. That's all easy stuff though. Just drill holes and put the bolts in. That's pretty easy. I had to move this trim over to cover this gap that used to be here. That was gonna be covered by the bar originally, but you know, switch things up so that was not covered. Luckily it's covered by this new bar, <laughs> this uh, drink maker bar. So that's all good there. Reason there was a gap is because I couldn't find trim long enough to cover the whole thing. So I had to piece it together a little bit. I think I want to have all the bases facing the same way. So either this way or this way. So vertical, horizontal. I think vertical looks better because it flows with the lines on the floor better. But let me know what you guys think. These seats look awesome. I love these seats. These are on my last pontoon too. It matches the rest of the seats and they're pretty comfortable. Uh, it does need a footrest. So I might have to build a footrest down there somewhere. Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm pretty short. I think I need a footrest more than anyone else. But other than that, they match really great. You can buy these seats at BassBroatSeats.com. Maybe check out DeckMate.com. Along with the pontoon seats, you can buy these at PontoonStuff.com. I made sure that the door could still open. Still opens good. You can get in there, get what you need. Uh, this is just going to be a storage spot underneath here. There's going to be some wiring, maybe a light in there so you can turn it on. Make sure you can get your stuff out of there. Uh, LED lights and all the cup holders and all the cup holders. So I got a bunch of LED lights for that uh, I'm gonna have some LED lights shining down back here that way if we're out at night We can still we still party see what's going on. I gotta run some wiring to this wire up the drink maker Maybe put a light in there, too uh, We'll see about that as for the batteries. I'm gonna need a dual battery set up probably store it underneath this console along with the amp and all the radio stuff Try to keep it somewhat clean down there just in case I need to get in there. I want to make sure I know what's going on. Got a bunch of speakers for it. Got some hanging speakers. Uh, the radio I got for it is super cool. It's going to be able to control every section. And I can control the radio from up there. Control it from right here. Can't control it from right here though. <laughs> I have a lot of cool stuff coming in this next episode. Uh, basically a lot of wiring, radio work, and a bunch of LED lights. Also need to mount this stuff down fully now that it's not moving anywhere one thing i'm still searching for is a motor if you guys have a motor or you know of one in florida i can go get uh central florida area please let me know i'm looking for a four stroke round a 150 i don't want to go insane and get like a 250 or anything i don't want it to be powered by a 115 so i think a 150 maybe a 200 you know 250 if it's the right price it just it seems way overpowered for this but I don't know. I'm not planning on making this a speedboat by any means. It's just me for partying around the lake. It's, it's going to be to get to point A to point B, but enough power to get it moving. So if you guys have a hookup for that, please let me know. Email, message me on Instagram, please. <laughs> I'm still looking. As for the lack of videos, it's just been pretty hectic over here. I've had a lot of personal stuff going on. Also, I got sick for two weeks, which was not good. <laughs> it was pretty rough. And then also I went on vacation, so just a lot of stuff piled up and kind of pushed me back a lot. I had a project fall through, I just having a lot of stuff going on, so I'm trying to keep on track with this. But this is my only project, so I'm just kind of waiting around until I find parts and try to keep videos interesting, you know. So I don't want to put out a video every week if I don't really do anything. Just keep that in mind, I'm trying to put out more videos, I'm, I'm still here. It's just, it takes some time to make a good video and have stuff come in and have ideas coming. So thank you all for sticking around. If you guys have any more ideas, cool ideas, find a motor for me. If you guys have anything like that, leave it in the comments. I love reading them. I love being involved with you guys. So thank you so much. Check me out on Instagram. If you have an Instagram, you want to follow me there, check it out. If not, I will catch you guys maybe next week. <laughs> I will try uh, on a new video. So I will see you guys then. Thank you so much. Bye.